Hey yo, what's up guys? How it's going? Welcome to Coding Bot. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Git for your Windows standalone computer. Let's get started. I'm in a folder directory, so I'm gonna go to the my terminal. Just right click and open in terminal. I'm using Windows 11 in your operating system. This may be different than my demonstration. So we cannot use git commands from our standalone computers to our remote repository so wherever we need without installing git standalone application to our computer i will show you i'm gonna type like git and just press enter it will show us an error message the git is not recognized as the name of command or function or anything so in this case we have to install git for our windows local computer Let's go to the uh, our favorite browser and I'm in mean Google and type like git for windows. So we have to install uh, the download package. So I'm going to go to this search result. So make sure this is the um, git official website for downloads git scm.com download slash win. In this case, uh, we have to download our standalone installer. Um, check your operating system, bit version of your operating system, maybe it's a 32 or 64. In this case, my operating system is a 64 bit Windows computer. So I'm gonna get the 64 bit Git for Windows setup. Click on this and it will download the setup for us. It is around 62 megabytes. In my case, so you have to download this .exe or executable file. After downloading the setup, I will go to the downloader directory and double click on this .exe file. It will open the installation window for us. Right, this is the first step. In this case, you have to click on next after reading the license agreements. And this is the installation directory next it is showing this error because um, this is a warning message because i have previously installed git uh, this is not for you i am gonna click on yes and these are the additional options you can select windows explore integration open git bash here option after right clicking i will show you everything and uh, keep these um, default options and click on next again and uh, yeah click on next again and next um let git decide next and git from the command line also from third part software it is good for us click on next use model open ssh next use ssh cell library open ssl yes and uh, click on yes and now it is installing git for our windows local computer wait few seconds until it is installed right it says the setup installation is completed now we can click on finish and let's see what are the options now available after installing git so it is showing the official website to get some kind of uh, introduction no need i'm gonna go to the this folder directory and i'm gonna right click show more options now you can see here are two new options called git gui here open git bash here so let's go to the open terminal so i have opened up a terminal in this directory and again let's type like git and just press enter now it's again says the term git is not recognized as the same the previous error message again Let's try it again by closing this. Open a terminal. Right, after closing the window and after opening a new terminal, there is no error. So that ensures us um, the Git installation for our Windows local computer is success. I think this video was helpful to you. Uh, make sure to subscribe for coding board and turn on the bell icon to get 
more updates in the future i will meet you soon in the next video bye for now